Welcome to GMAT Math Online Math Prep Videos. In this GMAT Math Online video, we explain sequences of integers. Sequences are defined as numeric terms in a specified order. If we know a minimal number of terms in a sequence, and the method of determining the next term from one or more previous terms, then we can usually determine the value of each term in the sequence. Here's a sample problem. If a sequence starts at 17, with each term being 3 less than the previous term, what is the value of the 20th term in the sequence? And here are some possible answers. Let's find the solution. Since we start at 17, the first term is 17. The second term, then, is 3 less, so it's 14, and the third term is 11. 17, 14, 11, and so forth. The twentieth term will be 19 terms after the first term. So it will be 19 times 3, which equals 57, less than the first term. That is, we obtain the twentieth term by subtracting 57 from 17. This gives us 17 minus 57, which equals minus 40. So the correct answer is D. This is an example of an arithmetic sequence where each new term is a constant value more or less than the previous term. That is, suppose we start the sequence with a number, x, and keep adding the value k. Then the arithmetic sequence looks like this. x, x plus k, x plus 2k, x plus 3k, etc. In the previous problem, x was 17 and k was minus 3. Another kind of sequence is a geometric sequence, in which each new term is obtained by multiplying the previous term by a constant. As an example, let's look at this problem. If 3 is the first term of a geometric sequence, and the next term is 6, what is the eleventh term? Here are some possible answers. Let's find the solution. If 3 is the first term and 6 is the second, then the constant value that's used to find the next term is 2. That is, 6 equals 3 times 2. So the third term is 3 times 2 times 2, which equals 3 times 2 squared, and that equals 12. And the next two terms are 3 times 2 cubed, which equals 24, that's the fourth term, 3 times 2 to the fourth, which equals 48, and that's the fifth term. By now you should see a pattern that the nth term is 3 times 2 to the n minus 1. And therefore, the eleventh term will be 3 times 2 to the tenth power, which equals 3 times 1,024, and that equals 3,072. That's the eleventh term. And so the correct answer is E. The general formula for a geometric sequence whose first term is x and whose multiplying factor is k is x, x times k, x times k squared, and finally x times k to the n minus 1. In the previous problem, x was 3 and k was 2. There are many other types of sequences. Here are some examples. In the sequence of numbers 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, what is the next number? Here are some possible answers. Let's find the solution. This sequence of numbers is the numbers 1 through 6 squared. So the next number will be 7 squared, which equals 49. So the correct answer is D. In the sequence of numbers 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, what is the next number? Here are some possible answers. Let's find the solution. This is the famous Fibonacci sequence. Each number in this sequence is the sum of the two previous numbers. 
So the next number will be 8 plus 13, or 21. And the correct answer is E. In the sequence of numbers 30, 34, 42, 54, 70, 90, 114, what is the next number? Here are some possible answers. Let's find the solution. Notice that the difference between numbers is increasing by 4 with each number. For example, from 30 to 34, the distance is 4. But from 34 to 42, the distance is 8. And from 42 to 54, the distance is 12. And so forth. Since the last number is 24 greater than the previous number, the next number will be 28 greater than the last number or 142. So the correct answer is E. In the sequence of numbers 17, 19, 23, 29, 31, 37, 41, what is the next number? Here are some possible answers. Let's find the solution. This one is a little tricky because each number in this list is a prime number. So the next number will be the next prime number after 41, or 43. So the correct answer is C. For more on sequences, see our other videos and go to www.gmatmath.online. And you can get our eBooks. GMAT Math Basics, GMAT Math Problem Solving, and GMAT Math Data Sufficiency. Thanks for your interest.